good morning everyone this um, video is for calculation of total signal to noise ratio of a satellite communication link which includes the uplink and the downlinks so you can see this is the total link an earth station transmitting a power pt and a satellite receiving the power pru and the noise being introduced at the satellite which is pnu so signal to noise ratio of an uplink is nothing but the pru by pnu now when the signal is processed at the satellite and sent to the earth station through the antenna system at the earth station the power being received is prd and the noise at the earth station is pnd so signal to noise ratio at the downlink is prd by pnd so this is a block diagram representation of a whole system uh, the uh, in this system we have shown the gain of a system from satellite to the earth station which includes the satellite system the free space and the receiving earth station by a gain gamma the signal pru which is received at the satellite and because of the circuitry at the satellite a noise is being introduced pnu now this uh, through this system when the signal and the noise travel at the earth station which we receive the power is gamma times pru and uh, the noise pnu is also multiplied by gamma so the noise is gamma times pnu but there is an electronic circuitry involved at the earth station also so we have an additional noise pnd so the total power being received at the downlink is gamma times pru and the noise is gamma times pnu plus pnd now for calculation purpose we have simply stated c by n of uplink which is pru by pnu c by n, uh, n0 of downlink is gamma times pru by pnd the total noise is gamma times pnu plus pnd so uh, instead of uh, writing c by n0 for the ease of derivation and calculations we'll be representing it as n0 by c so uh, noise to signal ratio is the total noise pn divided by the total power received which is pr so writing the expressions for pn which is gamma times pnu plus pnd divided by pr which is gamma times pru separating the terms gamma times pnu by pr plus pnd by pr we know that pr is gamma times pru the gamma in the first term gets cancelled and what we get is pnu by pru which is nothing but n by c of uplink the second term pnd by pru pnd is the noise of a downlink divided by the power received at the downlink that is gamma times pru which is nothing but n by c of a downlink this expression is also written as c by n0 equal to 1 by c by n0 uplink inverse plus c by n0 downlink inverse or c by n total inverse is equal to c by n uplink inverse plus c by n downlink inverse um, we have one more noise in a satellite communication link which is because of intermodulation intermodulation noise is because of the system working in the non linear region and to avoid this we normally Uh, apply a back off to keep the system in the linear region so if there is an intermodulation noise the term which comes in addition to what we already have is an additional noise because of intermodulation and hence the equation of n by c total becomes n by c uplink plus n by c downlink plus n by c intermodulation and similarly this expression of c by n total in is c by n uplink inverse plus c by n downlink inverse plus c by intermodulation noise inverse 
let's solve one problem uh, for this for a satellite uh, circuit the carrier to noise ratios for an uplink are 23 db downlink is 20 db intermodulation it is 24 db we have to calculate the total carrier to noise ratio in decibel and also suggest a method to reduce the intermodulation noise so we know that n by c total is n by c uplink plus n by c downlink plus n by c intermodulation it is important to remember that these n by c which are given are in the normal scale not in db so all the values given to us in the problem have to be first converted in the normal scale that is nt log of it which is the c by n of uplink will become uh, 10 to power of 2.3 c by n of downlink will become 10 to power of 2 and c by n of intermodulation will become 10 to power of 2.4 so simply we are writing those value in the expression uh, and we get n by c total as 0 0.01899 and to get by c by n total we simply need to inverse it which is 52.65 and to convert this value into db 10 log of the value which comes out to be 17.21 now uh, the question that was asked to us was show how this intermodulation noise can be reduced as i already explained that intermodulation noise is because of the system working in the non-linear region and by providing the backup we can keep our system into linear region and reduce the intermodulation this is a plot very important plot which shows us a relation between signal to noise ratio and the back off so as for the um, uh, requirement of intermodulation the larger is the back off the uh, better is the signal to noise ratio as can be clearly seen at minus 10 um, back off the signal to noise ratio of intermodulation is very high but larger is the back of the lesser is the signal power and hence what we find is the signal to noise ratio of downlink and the uplink are low for a larger back off and this plot shows that as the back off is reducing the intermodulation noise is increasing and hence c by n is a downward curve and it is reduces with an increase reducing back off whereas if we look at c by n of uplink and downlink as the back off is reducing the signal power is increasing and therefore c by n is increasing the c by n total plot shows that it's not that for a high back off we will get a high c by n or for a low back off we will get a high c by n but we get a optimum point that is around minus 3 db where we are getting the maximum c by n so while deciding what should be the back off for a system we need to find out the optimum point of operation to get maximum c by n uh, that is very important so this plot is very important to explain the relation between back off and the total signal to noise ratio and to decide what should be the point of operation thank you